Mr. Money in the Bank. The following contest is the final in the championship tournament. And it's for the European Eastern Alliance Rated R Ultraviolent Fighting Championship. And from parts unknown, weighing in at 266 pounds, he is Mr. Money in the Bank. And he is one half of the Hardcore Champions, Slater. Mr. Money in the Bank. And from the pits of hell, weighing in at 242 pounds, he is Mr. Money in the Bank. And he is one half of the Continental Global Hardcore Champions, The Nightmare. Washington, D.C., weighing in at 640 pounds. We're just moments away from Donald this huge tag Sumper. team match, guys. And I don't think I've ever seen these four superstars more motivated than they appear to be heading into this one, Michael. And here we go, this tag team match is going to be heated, to say the least. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag team action at its finest, fellas. You've got to believe this one's over. And he's heading back in. Oh! Oh! 
Up and... Uh-oh. Oh, breakneck speed. What a hurricane. Oh, what impact. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Look out, he's almost there. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have. Maybe the penny and predicament. That's not going to do it. How in the world? Boom! <laughs> you got to believe this one's over. Going to be agonizing for the arm. He's lining him up. See if he takes the bait. We've seen this before. He's looking at it. What are we going to see here? Hung up on the second row. Getting closer now. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. What a close line. Ouch. Inching closer to his partner. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Bang. Oh, nasty impact. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Oh boy, he is real. Harsh impact. Victory is on the horizon. Someone's going to be black and blue. He's got the shoulders down. And a kick out, much to nobody's surprise. Not yet, too early. He's making a statement here with this attack. Beautiful technique. Nobody does it quite like him. Tag team history was made when the first was tossed. She could airline miles for that. But he's got to capitalize now. And the count's broken. Keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. There was a... He broke out of it. Cole, how in the world did he find the energy to do that? Bam! What a slam! Axe handle finds its target. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Boom, what impact! 
But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the... Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Even better the second time around. Going for the cover. And he got a near fall out of it. And I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole, his opponent included. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is... Up. There it is, the tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who've dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky looking for the win. Controls the pace of a match. What like? Uh oh. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring. Oh, he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. He's starting to stumble here. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. In off the tag. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. We're going to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title lane in 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage, and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots, but I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever. And what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record setting 483 days. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Ah, oh, close to getting a count out here. Nah, this is just some strategic gamesmanship. Oh, what impact. He's in a little bit of trouble now. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. If I'm his partner, I'm furious right now. There's no... That's going to leave a mark. Warm up the bus. This one is over. His shoulders are down. And he stops the count. Lucky him. He has such a wide range of offense from anywhere in the ring. Breaker. 